What's up guys and welcome back to another video. You'll have to excuse the dust, I didn't exactly plan on this video. I've been getting a lot of questions on the gauge cluster and how exactly I upgraded it. This is a 2013 ST, as you can tell by the horrendous gap in the front. Taking a step into the car, I did upgrade to Sync 3. It was a very straightforward process. This car came with Sync 2. But this has actually taken a lot of perfection. I'm gonna kind of make this video go a little bit easier. I'm gonna kind of make this a double tutorial. So in the description, I'll have two different files. One for the SE guys, and then the other for the ST guys. For this process, I recommend a couple of things. I made a tutorial a couple of years back using a program called Focus. And I've since removed that video because focus is outdated and the adapter I actually used in that video was horrendously slow. And that process actually takes about six hours to do it that way. With this process, it takes less than 30 minutes. I recommend having a Windows laptop handy. I was able to use my MacBook and run boot camp. Pardon the bad lighting, but I'm using a Ford VCM2, um, a Bosch Master Tech should be able to get the job done as well. But this is my second time using a Ford VCM2 for this process, and it's worked flawlessly. And then you'll need the Forescan Beta, and for that, you will need a paid license, which is, I believe, $12 US. And once you get that paid license, you should have access to the forums, and you should be able to activate Forescan. So with the VCM connected to the car, I'm going to connect it to the car. If you've loaded it before, it may recognize it. From there, you want to go to this tab and scroll down until you see Module Firmware Update IPC. And then I also recommend a battery charger as well. I believe last time I tried this, the battery got really close to dying. It didn't die on me, but it almost did. So I just recommend if you have one handy, go ahead and make use of it going to tell you to turn the ignition off. Gonna press OK. This is what you want. You want to go to where your it says available. And you're going to go down to custom. And then from here, you're going to want to go down to the files in the description for your vehicle. So if you have a ST, click the ST ones. If you have a SE, click the SE ones. Your files will contain a readme that will look way better than this. But essentially, it's these files in that order. So, this one, the one ending in BB, is going to be your loader. So, your secondary bootloader. It's going to go right. So, you want to make sure that those are in order. And obviously, coming here to secondary bootloader, that's going to be the first one. Load from file, and that's where you find the files. And this one is going to, you want to make sure that it matches up. You do not want to load the wrong files onto here. And after that, all you have to do is click program. Now I would do this, but I already did it, so I'm not trying to waste 30 minutes and run my battery down, but it really is as simple as that. But yeah, guys, it really is that simple. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, leave a like. Let me know if you have any questions, and thank you for watching.